Motorola is releasing a modular phone. The first Project Tango phone is unveiled. Youngsters are not allowed on Tinder and more. It's Thursday, June 9th, and this is Crunch Report. Yo, people, calm down a bit in the comments. I'm not higher tweaking. My eyes are red because I have pink eye. If you really think I'd be able to do this show high, then you are insane. Meth? You really think I'm on meth? Tech news. Lenovo released the first and highly anticipated Project Tango enabled phone today. It's called the Fab 2 Pro and has all the bells and whistles listed here. So much power. Tango is Google's effort to bring hardcore computer vision capabilities to phones and tablets, giving those devices a sense of where they are in a room. Some of the apps on the phone shown today demoed setting up dominoes to be knocked down or placing a dinosaur in a room. The phone will ship in September and cost $500. Another pair of phones that were released today at Lenovo's Tech World were the Moto Z and Moto Z Force, which will be the company's first two devices compatible with the new Moto Mods, swappable backs that bring a slew of additional features to the phones, including JBL speakers, a projector, and external battery packs. The new hardware you just snap on and off as you need it. Both products are arriving from Verizon at some point this summer, with pre-orders coming next month. People rejoice! You can now leave me your nice comments and shitty trolley comments as a Facebook video comment. Not just GIFs, photos, texts, and links anymore, but now also video. Facebook rolled out the feature today, which was created at Facebook's 50th Hackathon earlier this year. It's as simple as clicking on the camera in the corner of a post and uploading whatever video it is you want. I wonder how much creativity will go into making a video comment. The first internet famous video commenter is ripe for the picking. Tinder is discontinuing use of the app for everyone under the age of 18 starting next week. The dating app has allowed anyone 13 years of age or older to use the app since launching in 2012, and they only match people in that age group, thank God. In a statement, Tinder said, on a platform that has facilitated over 11 billion connections, we have the responsibility of constantly assessing our different user experiences. Consistent with this responsibility, we have decided to discontinue service for under 18 users. We believe this is the best policy moving forward. This change will take effect next week. Tinder tells us this impacts less than 3% of the global user base. No smoking, no drinking, no Tinder. What the F kids, also stay off Tinder, go play outside. Summer school. I had to attend a couple times and I hated it so much. Now it seems as though it might be getting a little funner. Yeah, that's not a word. Especially that Microsoft today released a free trial of Minecraft Education Edition that teachers can test out over the summer. The idea is to bring the world of Minecraft to the classroom to be used as a learning tool where students can develop skills in areas like digital citizenship, empathy, literacy, and more. They can use the software as part of a coding camp, study science, learn about city planning, or they can study history by recreating historic landscapes and events in the program. Damn it, Microsoft, it's summer school, not super fun video game awesome school. I'm jealous. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Go up. Oh, okay. You're going to want to wash Go, your hands yeah. after. Yeah, I know.